Hi, I'm Mandeep Singh, founder of Mandeeps.com and I'm really excited to show you our new Life Forms module. Life Forms is the quickest, easiest and most intuitive way of building forms on DNN platform. Let's get started. I'm going to head over to the Manage link and now we are in the design mode and this is a what you see what you get designer. On the top left we have some of the action items like saving the form and returning back or cancelling out and on the right we have some of the form options. On the left here we have uh, a lot of different fields that we can use in the form. Uh, they are grouped by uh, either basic, common or survey fields. So let's uh, go ahead and really quick create a contact us form. What I'm going to do is drag in a heading and let's call it contact us and uh, I need a name but I can build one using a text box but I'm going to head over to common fields and grab a full name that gives me first name last name everything's pre-done for me and also grab an email address and I'm going to grab a uh, I need an area for them to type in a message when they contact us so I'll do a text area right here now as you can see you're developing the designing the form in real time what you see here is what you're going to see outside so that's really neat I can go ahead and uh, update some of these on the fly so for every field that you have here you have its properties appearing on the top so when I click right here you see this apply to the full name I would want the full name to be a required field and email as well so I'll go ahead and do that I'm going to also say that the message is required but I would want to give them a little bit more room to type so maybe that's good and there we go we have a form. Now I want to show you one more thing before we actually see this form and that is uh, anti-spam protection. We really want to make sure that we don't get spammed so under our common fields I'm going to grab a captcha and drop it right here and uh, the only thing you have to do, I'm going to make take the label away because I don't want a label to be visible there. The only thing you have to do is provide a site key and you can get this from google.com uh, through recapture and it's a free site key that you can get for your site. So now that we've done that, I'm going to go ahead and hit save and return. And there we go. That's our first form that was built with Life Forms in under three minutes. Simple drag and drop, point and click, and I have a fully functional form. Not only this is a fully functional form, it's mobile friendly and fully responsive out of the box. Let's take a look. I'm going to go ahead and open my developer tools in Chrome here just for a quick second. I'm going to hit on this mobile icon so I can see how this form would look if I was an Apple iPhone 5. So I'm going to refresh the page and I see this is how my form would look. As you notice, the labels moved up and down, they're automatically responsive and resizing. And everything looks great. And I can also switch over to uh, iPad and see how the form looks in iPad. As you can see, the form is now across and uh, looking great in an iPad as well. So just want to show you really quick that uh, Life Forms is fully responsive out of the box. You don't have to do a thing to make it work. Couple other things out of the box. The validation was built in just because we said it's an email field. Uh, it's going to be validated for email. Uh, if I hit submit here you can see it says these fields are required because we put required on it. So I can go ahead and say and as you can see is that it's all automatically doing validation that this is not a valid email address and this becomes a valid email address. So I'm going to go ahead and type in uh, some message. I'm just testing her new live forms module. Now I can go ahead and hit submit and that won't go through because it's still doing the anti-spam checking through Google reCAPTCHA. I have to click I'm not a robot to make sure that I'm not and since I've been doing this left right every day Google uh, wants to make put an extra level of protection to make sure I'm actually not a label uh, robot so I have to type this in and I'm gonna ask for a new one because I can't really see that one okay so I'll say verify and there we go I'm not a robot and now I can go ahead and hit submit as you see it automatically shows you a default thank you message and uh, that can be a obviously customized. So let's go ahead and go back in 
and now that we go back in the very first thing we see is submissions we can see who has submitted this form and as, ju as I just did one I see that my, the name email address message appears you can click on it to see it in a, 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 a layout form versus a list form as well I'm gonna go ahead and jump over to the design tab again and uh, show you a little bit more options when I click on options on the top here I see a thank you uh, button that I can click on and this is where you would go ahead and type in your customized thank you message for example I can say and as you can see I'm using personalized personalization whoever typed in so their full name I can say uh, thank you for contacting us someone will get back to you shortly and let's do a spell check on it all right so there we go we have our custom uh, thank you message now and you can use your DNN standard tokens here as well so let's save that so that was pretty easy creating forms uh, is is no longer a complex task uh, if I have to rearrange my layout I simply drag and drop and drop it wherever I want uh, if I want to get rid of a field I can do that from here as well but let me show you even easier way of creating forms so let's head over to uh, mandeeps.com and uh, that's the live forms demo page and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and click on see a demo and I see there's a bunch of different templates right here that are uh, available that we can see for example a bug report or a job application uh, I'm gonna go ahead and click on one of these let's just take a contact us because that's what we were building and as you can see this one has a phone number and a preferred contact and so forth so I'm gonna go ahead and grab its template code all I have to do is hit copy and head over back to my life forms I'm gonna go to sharing and so I'm gonna copy form and paste in what I just copied hit OK and I'm done. Now I have that contact us duplicated right here. That is awesome because now when you create forms you don't have to keep doing the work over and over again. Simply go to your sharing tab, hit share form, you have your own copy code that you can paste and take your forms anywhere you want. Alright so let's save and return and take a look at our new uh, form. Well can't do that yet. Every time you copy a template which has a captcha in it uh, you would have to make sure to provide your own side key for security reasons because the side keys are never copied along even if you share your own form with someone else the side key will never be copied along which is great so I'm gonna go ahead and hit save and return and there's my new contact us form great so by default I've already submitted the form and I, I, I've shown you that every single submission is automatically saved in the database and can be viewed through the submission tab We can also go ahead to set it up so that every time someone fills out our form, an email notification goes out. So let's go ahead and click on Options and click Email Alerts. You can say Add New Email. And I can do a notification, which means an email ad will go out whenever someone fills out the form. This is great if you want to be notified when someone fills out a form. Or we can also do an autoresponder, in which case the email goes out to the person who filled the form, letting them know that we got their uh, submission so I'm not gonna go ahead and uh, set these up and show it to you although I can do next here and click uh, very quickly show you uh, how the UI looks like uh, but I'm gonna get into uh, our next topic of discussion here which would be branching and conditions so I'm gonna go ahead and not set up an email alerts here and instead show you how we can use the branching and workflow features all right let's say I wanted uh, a department drop down here so I'm going to go ahead and click here and say uh, I want the user to choose a department and I'm going to give some options uh, is it sales is it support or is it billing related and uh, we'll say this is also required so they must choose one and uh, we have that in so that's great now I I can go ahead and uh, take a look at my form and I see that department is also there they can choose that but let's say if I wanted uh, an email to go out to my support department if it's support related uh, and email to go out to billing if it's billing related and email to go out to sales if it's sales related so we can very easily do that let's go 
head over to options and let's click on actions. Now we have two kinds of actions. One is called on form view actions and one is called on form submission. An email going out is uh, is is an action that happens after the form is submitted. So let's go to on form submissions and I'm going to say uh, add action communication send an email. So now I can say send an email to our sales team and uh, I can say a new sales lead um, this can go from uh, the no reply at your company or your admin email address and uh, we can use the personalization tag here to set up a body message which includes all the information the person tied up but what I really wanted to show here is our logic building which is down here I could very easily say that only send this email if department is equal to sales because that's what I want. I want the sales comp people to only receive their sales email. And I will go ahead and add this action. Um, uh, I have to specify something in body that makes sense. So I'm to save time, I'm just going to say this is a sales email. I'm not going to actually uh, draft one out. Uh, but now I can go back and say let's add another email. And I'm going to say send this one to billing at your company.com and do this one only if department is equal to billing and you get the idea so I can set up three different email addresses and they will only go out depending on on the user choices so that's great that's uh, that's branching and conditions uh, that we're applying to on form submissions action but we can do so something similar uh, here as well let's say uh, Let's say the department is support. So we want to ask a couple other things. Let's get a uh, radio button in here. And uh, let me say, uh, what about the priority? Maybe it's a help desk ticket. And we want to ask, uh, is it low? Is it medium? Is it high priority? OK. And we can say this is required as well. Now here's the interesting thing. If I save the form right now, I, I see that you could choose uh, sales or you could choose billing and they still have to give us a priority which kind of doesn't apply to sales and billing. So let's go ahead and go back to our design view. I'm going to say options, actions, on form view. I'm going to say show or hide a form field based on an action. So here I'm going to say show the priority only if department is equal to support. Go ahead and hit add action, close out of here, save and return, and now you see I don't see the priority anymore. But the moment I choose this to be support, I will be asked for the priority. Great. So we're not limited to one action. You can set up as many actions as you like. You can have as many conditions as you like. For example, this one right here that we created that show the priority only if department is equal to support. Let's edit that and I can say show priority if department is equal to support. I can also say show uh, priority department is equal to billing. Maybe let's say you have a priority in billing as well uh, and if that's the case I can say if any of these rules are matched show. So that's good and now what's going to happen is priority will be visible for both sale, uh, for both support and billing now it's great let's go ahead and add a text box here and we say that this text box is a, a support agreement uh, number okay and i say this is a required field and we'll go back to actions and now we want to show a priority uh, if department is equal to support or if department is equal to billing but we want to go ahead and show uh, support agreement if department is equal to support I'm going to add another condition and say if priority is equal to high let's say we only take high priorities from those who have an SLA with us and they have a support agreement so 
now I can say that if all of these conditions are matched then only you ask for a SLA number and if they have an SLA number then we prioritize them in our internal queue so just wanted to show here that uh, you could use the rule builder to go ahead and uh, create sophisticated and complicated complicated and complex forms virtually with no pain without writing a single line of code now you can show or hide a form field based on user input you can skip to a page or end of the film uh, form uh, if you're using a multiple page uh, form or you can require a form field based on another input this is the form view actions similarly there's a bunch of things we can do when someone submits the form we can add the user to a dot new security role giving them access to certain part of the sites we can remove them from a security role and all of these uh, can be done in conjunction with the rule builder so you can only do this if they meet certain rules we can go ahead and execute a SQL query and that can be uh, either against the default DNN database or your external database uh, connection string that's specified in mem.config. Uh, we've seen how we can send an email. We can execute some JavaScript. We can do some HTTP post uh, to send data to another external system. We can redirect the user to another URL. I can have them go to the sales portal uh, if they selected sales or I can have them go to the billing portal if they selected billing and so forth. And we can also have it to show a uh, HTML message. So uh, all that for uh, actions and conditions and so forth. I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you how easy it is to go ahead and create uh, multi-page forms as well with uh, with uh, live forms. All you have to do to create multi-page forms is grab a page break and drop it wherever you need. So after this real wait three fields, we're going to have a new page. Let's see how that looks see right now it automatically cut off the form at 3 and we have the next now it's gonna ask for validation as soon as and I type in some information here I'll be able to jump to the next page pretty quick and pretty easy the last thing I want to show you in this demo quickly is life forms is fully uh, capable of multi-language support so I'm going to head back over to our uh, template gallery and grab the contact us template again just so to kind of override the things and changes I've done here. I'm going to go ahead and paste that and uh, as I mentioned before every time you do that you have to update your site key so I'm going to go ahead and do that as well. And uh, I'm going to hit save and let's set up a multi-language uh, life forms. To do that first thing you have to do is from DNN if you're familiar with uh, using multi languages you have to go admin languages and you have to uh, add additional language so let's say add new language and in my case I'm going to say uh, let's add Spanish uh, I'll find Spanish here somewhere there we go uh, hit update so now that we've added a new language to our DNN portal we see the two flags appear which allows us to switch between the languages that's after that's been done go right back here and uh, we go to manage go to design view again click on options we hit languages and here we see that we have Spanish as now available language you can go ahead and click on Spanish and provide a translation for everything that you see in the form uh, and just hit update now you notice that this already translated and that's because I pasted a template which already had that information so save me some time there uh, but I just want to show you how easy that that's done uh, now I can go ahead and uh, switch back and if I change the language to Spanish I see that my form is completely in Spanish now the validation message itself all the static text is also localizable from admin languages even the life forms were designed to be quickest easiest most intuitive form builder for DNN platform it has some of the more powerful features uh, let's go ahead and take a look I'll head over to design view really quick and uh, you can see if, if we have a, a, a simple text box right here is in addition to the required validation there's a lot of validations built in such as you can make an email alphanumeric alphabetic on link numeric on link provide your own regex pattern if you want 
specify the max length you can give it a watermark for example um, your hobbies uh, and that would appear right there so kind of a hint to let them know what to type there's a hover text also known as a tooltip uh, tell us what you're passionate about uh, and that would appear right here as a tooltip uh, you can give some default values that's pre-filled automatically and uh, if you're in text area it allows has something called entry limits you can say I only want up to maximum of 100 words or 100 characters so a lot of uh, a lot of those functionalities that you would find uh, in any forms module you have it here but it's just much easier to use and manage I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get rid of this text box it's just put in and I'm gonna show you uh, one of the more uh, amazing field types which is the file upload this allows you to actually uh, allow your users to uh, attach files and collect attachments and uh, I want to go over this really quick as also because uh, it has some of the properties here that are pretty amazing you can allow your users to attach one or multiple files and if you check allow multiple it will uh, have them upload many files you can do auto upload which means as soon as they choose a file it starts uploading one of those modern features you've seen as soon as you browse for a file it starts uploading especially if you have large files you don't want to wait uh, till end of your form to have them load uh, you can specify the max uh, file size they can upload you can specify the upload text the browse text limit what extensions are allowed uh, and one more important thing is you can choose your default directory and this is mapped to your DNN file manager so if you're using folder providers such as our cloud storage provider or any other you could have all your attachments go to a cloud storage uh, to to a cloud folder or to a UNC path or just save them to the file manager in the database or secured directories so that's awesome I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this as well I'm going to show you that Creating surveys with live forms is also a breeze. I mean, if you want to collect some user information, it's as easy as just dropping you know, a mat matrix field here, which is the same as grid. Um, and now you can go ahead and just specify as many number of rows as you want, different numbers of column, and collect their user input. They can type in their input, or you could choose a simple radio button, uh, whether they're satisfied, very satisfied, and so forth. Uh, you can give them check boxes so they can ch do multiple selections you can even give them drop downs can say you know I want them to choose yes or no so they can have an option to do that and all, obviously a numeric text value so that, you know they can give you a numeric value as well so it's pretty complicated in what you can do with this service uh, we also have the star rating to create service uh, and you can dis uh, decide number of star amounts you want you want uh, 5 or 10 and so forth and then you have the scale rating and just between these three controls you can create some awesome surveys uh, to gather your user feedback this is it for this video uh, we wanted to cover some of the features of life forms if you guys have any questions or concerns please do let us know thank you so much for watching the video